Brothers and sisters in Christ, grace and peace to you this day. It's Tuesday, March 31st, 2020, and uh, it's a blessing for me to be able to offer this weekly update to y'all about what is going on in God's mission and ministry and life um, and service and in and through Good Shepherd Lutheran Church. I continue to give thanks for my pastoral colleagues here at Good Shepherd, Pastor Bob and Pastor Julie. Give thanks for the leadership of our church council in these days, and I give thanks for the absolutely tireless work of our staff in their time, in this time for us. They are an absolute joy um, and blessing in these unprecedented times. Last weekend in worship, there were two texts in our readings from Holy Scripture that dealt with uh, death and resurrection, the first being the Old Testament reading from the prophet Ezekiel. It's a text commonly seen in our Bibles and known as the Valley of Dry Bones. And in that text, God speaks through Ezekiel and says, I will put my spirit within you and you shall live, and I will place you on your own soil, and then you shall know that I, the Lord, have spoken and will act. It's God placing and being with God's people in and through these times. And in the Gospel of St. John, we hear of Jesus raising his good friend Lazarus from the dead and saying to one of Lazarus' sisters and to each one of us, I am the resurrection and the life. Those who believe in me, even though they die, will live, and everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. And so in these days of COVID-19, we continue to walk together as a community of faith in a variety of ways. <clears throat> we will continue to gather together as a faith community well, yeah, our gatherings are going to look and feel different than they have in the past, um, but this new normal is also a beautiful way for us to be together. So worship this Wednesday will be at 5.30 on our uh, Facebook page and also our YouTube page. It's our last Wednesday worship in our Lenten series, Our Journey to the Promised Land. And then our Palm Sunday, Passion Sunday worship will be held on April 5th on Sunday morning at 8.30 and 9.45 a.m. As we look toward and into Holy Week, the staff and pastors are working diligently on some beautiful and spirit-led worship experiences for us during Holy Week. It's absolutely the most important week of the year for a follower of Jesus. And so we'll be taking that journey much differently than we have in the past this year, but we still will do it faithfully and beautifully and the Spirit will continue to be with us. So continue to watch your email inbox, watch our social media pages, the website, um, our Facebook page, etc., uh, for more details on that as the week progresses and as those uh, plans um, unfold. As always, the sanctuary continues to be available to you. If you'd like to stop by and just sit and be for a little while to be quiet um, and turn off some of the noise of the world and of the day, um, our sanctuary is available to you. Just ask that you gather in no more than groups of 10, right? We're going to continue to grow together as a community of faith, church school, and confirmation and other youth group activities have been suspended for the time being, but they continue to gather in unique ways. And so our church school, uh, Nicole, our leader of that, will continue to offer a lesson on Wednesdays at 3 p.m. and then a, another activity on Fridays at 12.30 our youth group uh, will meet um, with Ashley through Zoom meetings. Eighth grade meetings are held on Tuesdays at 2. Seventh grade meetings on Wednesdays at 2. Sixth grade me meetings on Thursdays at 2. And high school group uh, Zoom meetings are held on Wednesday nights at 7.30. Pastor Bob continues to work on and do his one-on-one -on -one confirmation meetings. If that's of concern to you or you have questions about that, please feel free to reach out to him, send him a text message or an email, give him a phone call and let him know, visit with him about that. Pastor Julie is uh, continuing her Bible at Home series as well as her Lenten devotional videos that will go through Easter for us. Um, those will continue to be produced and offered on YouTube and Facebook pages. In addition, she'll be doing a, a Bible at Home devotional time at 1030 on Wednesdays and has other opportunities in the works right now. So reach out to Pastor Julie to see if some of those um, activities might be of interest to you. And finally, the Java and Jesus Bible study is meeting every Sunday now at 11 a.m. Um, there's information again on our website about that. We will continue to give to God's work through Good Shepherd and beyond. The office continues to be open as much as we possibly can during normal business hours, Monday through Thursday, 8 to 5, on Fridays from 8 to 3, 
the pastors and staff continue to try to maintain a presence as best we can during this time, but we do ask for your grace as uh, that's not always possible. And please know that during this time, our congregation continues to fully function and serve as the body of Christ in this place. The gifts of our hands, our feet, our voices, our financial resources are just important and much of a blessing now as they will be after COVID-19 is over and we return to more normal ways of life. We want to make sure that our congregation not only maintains its strength and its um, opportunity to serve today, but also in the days that passed. And so your gifts of offering during this time are greatly appreciated. You can do so with the giving tab on the website for electronic means or simply mail your check um, to the church at 106 Osage Avenue or drop it off at the church office at any time. And we're going to continue to go to serve our neighbors, just as Jesus reminds us in the Gospel of John today. I am the resurrection and the life, Jesus says. And so we are the resurrection and the life for so many people in so many ways. It has been an absolute blessing and joy to witness the many ways that you are doing that today. And we continue to give thanks for the many ways that you do that for one another, that you support one another, that you simply be with one another in this time. If you'd like to be part of a team that's being assembled to help assist folks as they might have needs in the coming weeks, um, please reach out to Erin on our staff team. She can get you connected to that. Erin and Pastor Julie are in the process of reaching out to every person in our congregation, every household directly. Um, but please have some patience with that as well, as there are almost 1,700 households that call Good Shepherd their faith home. It's going to take us a while to get completely through that list. If you or someone you know would like to visit, needs to be reached out to, um, by all means, reach out to Pastor Julie, Pastor Bob, or myself. We are more than happy to serve. Know that your pastors and your church staff in these days continue to work tirelessly to serve in any way that we are being called to be about in this time. For now, I invite us to join together in a word of prayer. And, and as uh, I've said before, and I say again, uh, a first landing site for you um, in this time is going to be to go to the website, goodshepherdbismarck.com, and then click on COVID-19 updates and resources, not only for things that we are doing together as a church, um, but also things that you can be doing in other places and other locations in, in your, uh, along your faith journey during this time. And so let's pray. Eternal God, amid all the turmoil and changes of the world, your love is steadfast and your strength never fails. In this time of danger and trouble, be, be to us a sure guardian and a rock of defense. Guide the leaders of our nation with your wisdom, strength to those who provide care in these days, health care workers, truck drivers, grocery store employees, and others we name before you now. Comfort those in any form of distress and grant us courage and hope to face the future through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, in whose name we pray and all God's children say, Amen. Blessings to you, brothers and sisters. We'll see you next time.